Hi friends, how are you all? I was quite bored of being in the house for a long time. I was not going to my school or for shopping or to relatives house and not even to the park just in front of my house for about 10 months. <laughs> Finally, I'm in Kerala now and I'm so happy and excited. Today, I got a chance for outing. <laughs> it is very difficult to choose one place to go. I want to go everywhere actually. <laughs> but my Bonatin selected Napier Museum and Zoo. In this video, I'll be showing you Napier Museum. And the zoo will be covered in another video. Okay, come on, let's go. Now we are on the way. This is Trivandrum City. The museum is just 10 minutes drive from the central railway station and 20 minutes drive from airport. The roads are very clean in the capital city. See the greenery on both sides. Whoa! We can see the gate now. But parking inside is costly. So we park on the side of Suri Gandhi Road for free. This road is beside Museum Police Station. You know, there was a king named Uttram Tirnal in Travancore. It was his idea to build a museum to preserve the valuable art and craft works. Thus, a museum was built and was opened to the public in 1857. But friends, that old museum established by Sri Uttram Tirnal was not large enough to display the immense collection of artifacts. Therefore, it was demolished during the reign of King Ailiam Tirnal. And this one, the present Napier Museum, was built. Now you may think, what is this Napier? We know that Trivandrum was a part of Madras province under British rule. Lord Napier was the Governor General of Madras who assigned the architect Robert Chisong to build this. The museum is named after Lord Napier, considering his involvement and contributions. In 1880, the then King of Travancore, Ailiam Tirnar, opened the museum to the public. It is one of the oldest art and natural history museums in India. See, it's really unique in its structure, style and color. It follows a specific geographic brickwork pattern and color combination. 
In the museum, a blend of Kerala, Mughal, Italian, Indo-Saracenic and Chinese architecture can be seen. It has a fairly good collection of artistic, cultural and antique objects. But camera is not allowed inside. So I can't show those to you. Inside the museum, there are three big halls connected by long corridors. The walls are creatively painted in light blue, yellow and red. The arches are colored in yellow along with red and white patterns. An amazing fact about the museum is its natural air conditioning effect. It is provided by the double walls with ventilation. The museum has an abundant collection of more than 500 exhibits of historical and archaeological value. It is also rich with its ancient cone collection which amounts to more than 5000 in number. It is blended with an array of antique bronze images, stunning stone sculptures, ivory carvings. It is the sword of Velutambi Dalava, one of our freedom fighters that welcomes us when we step into the museum. This museum is housed in a beautiful public garden. There are more than 200 species of plants on the 55 acre museum and zoo complex. It has trees, shrubs and flowering plants planted in well designed patterns. The space has been designed in such a way that it doesn't look the same when you walk around. Once you enter the grounds, through the gate opposite the city corporation, you get the feel of a forest with grand evergreen trees creating a green canopy. Whereas if you come in by the other entrance, the scene is different. The museum opens at 10 o'clock in the morning and closes at 5 o'clock in the evening usually. But on Wednesdays, it will be open afternoon till evening only. It will be closed on Mondays and public holidays such as Republic Day, Independence Day, Tiruvonam and Mahanavami. But if you come on these days, you can enjoy the scenery and sit on chairs here. Once you come here, you can also make friends. I too got one, a special friend. His name is Charlie. He's very shy, but I'll show him to you. Charlie the Crow! <laughs> I really had a great time here. This museum is the treasure house of ancient culture and legacy of God's own country. It is worth to watch. There are some other things also to watch in this compound. It has an art gallery named Sri Chitra Art Gallery. The artworks of Raja Ravi Verma is the main attraction there. A newly opened aquarium is here. Trivandrum Zoo is also here in the same compound, which is one of the oldest zoological gardens in India. I'll be visiting the zoo also, which will be covered in another video. Please do watch and subscribe my channel. Thank you.